Hi guys, it's me, Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And I want to discuss my top 10 new video. Uh, for, for this, I'll be doing my best movies for this decade. You might know my movies for the 2010s, the 2000s, and the 90s. But it's about time that I should do a video from one of my favorite centuries, the 80s. I mean, I absolutely love the 80s. I mean, it has some great, great songs. Songs like this one. Jesse is a friend Yeah, I know He's been a good friend of mine But lately something's changed It ain't hard to define Jesse's got himself a girl And I want to make her mine And she's watching me with those eyes And she's loving with that body I just know it And he's holding her or that no one wish that I'm so sorry, I just, I was such a huge lover of the 80s. Oh, so, for this list, I'll be discussing my top 10 movies of the 80s that are the best of the best. I'll be searching all of the great movies that that you all love, love in the, in the past, like, Top Gun, Adventures in Babysitting, Beetle Beetlejuice, or even Lean on Me. <laughs> oh, those are the great ones. Okay, let's get started. Um, number 10, which is one of my favorite high school dramas that I watched so many times, and it has a great cast, cast that talk that is based on a true story. Stand and Deliver. Oh my god. Stand and Deliver was was one of my favorites. I watched this while I was in high school. We had a had to learn from it. We even did a quiz on it, which I kinda failed. Uh, but I it did have its moments. I do admire, admire the setting setting, the music background. Background. And I even do admire the cast, especially the kids. Even special, even one played by Lou Diamond Phillips, who played Angel Guzman. Um, I really did admire his backstory. How he's not really such a bad kid; but he's just one of the good ones, just trying to make it in the world. Oh, I really ha and this one had some funny moments, like. Like the, <laughs> like the false story of Angel, how he got the test. <laughs> that, that really made me laugh. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I really do admire how all of them them pa passed the exam, Sam. But I kind of hated how they were accused of cheating, which is shocking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was a great movie to watch. Y'all should y'all should see it. Okay, um, number. Number nine, which is one of my favorite sci-fi franchise ever, ever that that end in nineteen eighty six. I mean nineteen eighty three. Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. Oh, oh my God! It was, besides the Force Awakens, I mean the Rise of Skywalker. This one was definitely the reason why I love Star Wars more and more. I love every single minute of it. The, the, the actions, actions, the settings, all and all that jazz. Oh, I even love, love the, love the epic rebellion on, on Jabba's, Jabba's ship. How Luke had a secret, secret lightsaber inside R2. How he finally freed themselves. Oh, classic. I really did love the Battle of Endor from both on the planet, on the moon, and and in the sky. Oh, oh what a best best battle to end in a movie. I really did love the ending. It, it was absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay then, here's number eight. One of my favorite movies that had Kevin Costner in it. He was great in this one, especially with with the actor who played played the voice of Darth Vader, James Earl Jones. Fields of Dreams. Oh my God, this was a magical and moving ride of a movie. Movie. I was kind of shocked that it involved all spirits of baseball players after. After Kevin Costner made made a baseball field, that was ama amazing how they how one of them c came out like shootless Joe Jackson, played by Ray Le Ray Lee Loda. Lee Loda, oh yeah, I got it right. Oh, um, I really did like him though. You know, I, I really like it how they how they had a little baseball game when he first showed up. Mm hmm. Oh, I really did love. Love the, love the oh, cross country road scene with, with him and James James Earl Jones who played, who played Terrence Mann the, the novelist. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, and there were some magical moments in it, like how Archie Graham, who was a professor, who sh magically came. Came, came hitchhiking with, with the with those two men as a boy. <laughs> I mean, what a shock! Oh, oh, this was a great movie to see. I really love it. Oh. So, here's here's number eight, which which is one of my fa. Oh, oh my can I just showed you it. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark was was a great Indiana Jones movie ever. Besides The Mummy, this was one of my fav favorite ones that involved Egypt. I just love that country. Oh, the history in it. Oh, I'm really amazed how how involved the Ark of the Covenant, one of the Bible stories. Oh, was I. I really did love the love interest, trust Karen Allen, who played Marion Wave Ravenwood. What she was beautiful yet fearless. Yes, I really did like that in her. Her. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. I really did love the scene how Indy and Sala went inside inside the temple trying to get the ark. Involving all of those snakes, oh my god, that was way too much of them. Oh. 
Um, I really did love it how how the Nazis Nazis were obliterated by the Ark of the Covenant. Covenant in the end. <laughs> For those of you that don't know the reason why the Ark killed them all, because because it had one rule. You can, you can open it, but only if you don't violate the Ten Commandments. Yeah, that's the reason. So yeah, yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark was definitely one of my favorite indie movies in the 80s and really made me love love this franchise more and more. More that was directed by Steven Spielberg himself. Okay, here's number seven, which is one of my, which involved one of the, one of my favorite robots ever other than R2 or 3PO. Short Circuit. Oh, I really do admire my Johnny number five. This movie was a cockle of your heart's warming comedy. Oh, I really did love the love the late love the girl in this one. One played by Ali Shilly. Oh, she was beautiful, and she really is a great animal lover. And I really do admire Steven Gutenberg in this one. He was great. I really did like it how he opened his eyes, how Johnny was was alive though. I mean, before there was Detroit Becomes Human and iRobot, this movie really shows that even machines have hearts as well. <laughs> I really do like this one, and especially the sequel. Okay, here's number six, which which is one of my favorite vampire movies ever, ever. It really had some great, great music, great settings, and great comedy ever. The Lost Boys. Oh, this movie was a hit comic twist for, for, for the classic vampire stories. I really do admire the four vampires who were in this. Keith Sutherland and, and the gang. Oh. Oh, they, they had great hair, great styles, and all that jazz. I was frightened of the se scene how how David showed showed Mike Michael who they really are. Oh, they were terrifying. I really did did did. Oh, I really was scared scared of the scene with the sur surfer boys. Oh. It was frightening, but I really did love love the funny moments, moments with with Corey Haim and Haim, Corey Feldman and Jason Newslander. All all these three, all these three make an excellent trio. I, they make ex absolute great vampire hunters. <laughs> I really did love the scene how the Frog Brothers, uh, the staked stick their first vampire inside that cave. Though it was crazy though. Oh, and I really did admire the music. Music like Cry Little Sister and Lost in the Shadows by Lou Graham. Oh great great mu great songs for this movie ever. So here's number here's Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, I think I miscounted, but here, here's number number five. Here's number five, five uh, which talks about about uh, one of my talks about a great team and one of my favorite actresses in the century, Sigourney Weaver. Uh -huh. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I mean, Ghostbusters was... <sighs> I'm sorry I keep losing my place. It's my family out there being loud. Oh, I really do admire this one. Well, I mean, I mean, oh my, oh, 
I'm sorry, guys. Guys, I keep pausing like this. I really did love this movie. I like the action in it, the comedy. Oh, and oh, and the and the setting in New York. I mean, I really do love New York ever, ever. And I really do admire these Ghostbusters, played by Bruce, played by Dan Aykroyd, Aykroyd, um, Bill, Bill Murray, um, who else? Oh, Harold Ramis and and Danny, Ernie Hudson. Hudson. These four make an excellent team. I absolutely admire them. Oh, I really did love love the love the song. Song played by. Ray, Ray, Ray Parker Jr. He did a great song ever. Oh, I really did love the part where they captured Slimer, Slimer, and I really liked it how they stopped the Stay Puffs Marshmallow Man. Oh, that was that thing was very hard to kill, but I'm glad they did cross the streams to do it. Okay, okay then. Um, here's number number. Here's number four that involved, involved one of my fa that involved one of my favorite favorite game boards boards when I was when I was a little kid. It's Clue. Oh my God, Clue. For me, this movie is not. For me, the game is not just a game. Game. It could be anything. Oh my God, I really do admire. Waltzworth in this. He make he makes such an excellent detective other than a butler. Other I really did love the cast by Ellen Ellen Bredman, Madeline Kong, Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd, Michael McKeenan, Martin Mull, and Leslie Ann Warren. Oh they make ex oh, they make an excellent cast in this one. Oh, I really do admire the three endings. My favorite one is where Mi Mrs. Scarlet and Yvette did did the deed of the murders. Murders. <laughs> and I really did love love every single minute. I did like it how how Walter Walsworth was knocked out by by the candlestick when it dropped down on his head. Um, I. <laughs> And I really did like it how he explained how explained who who did it by in by telling the whole story. Oh, right, and yeah, yeah. I really did like it how the oh yeah the telegram girl was was shot like that. Oh, it was kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, okay then. Here's number three, which, which was, which was an ending to a great franchise, or so we thought, since it made a fourth movie in 2008. Indiana Jones: The Last Crusade. Oh my God, I loved, loved. Um, oh my God. Um. Oh, Sean. Oh yeah, forgot Sean Connery in this one. He, um, he, he and Harrison Ford made an excellent duo as a father and son in this movie. Movie, movie. I really did love, love it how he contained, contained notes, notes about the Holy Grail, well, the, well, the stories of the author legend. Oh. I was kind of shocked how he was shot. He was shot, and he was. She had to repent all. Repent the boob, booby traps of the pa passages through the Grail. Mm. Yeah, speaking of which, I did kind of like it how Indy went through through each of those, each of those passages of those traps. Oh. Mm. And I. And I really did love, love the love interest turned villain, um, Elsa Schneider. I 
really did like her before she, she was really a Nazi. <laughs> that really kind of broke my heart a little. <laughs> a little. But I did like how she talks. Oh, oh but I did. And I really did admire the opening scene, how it showed Indy as a young kid, played by River Phoenix. God rest his soul. I really did like that guy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna miss him. Okay, here's okay. Here's number two, which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies ever since it made a comeback in 1980. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Oh my God! Every time I hear the Imperial March song, this really reminds me of that movie. Oh. I always did love this, love that part where it, where it, where it, sh where it played the song with all the Star Destroyers and all that jazz. I really did admire the Battle of Hoth, even though the Republic lost that one. It was still epic. I really did admire the, the android, I mean, asteroid scene, scene where, where Han, Han, Luke, Chewie, and 3PO were in the Falcon and they were chased by the by the TIE Fighters. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. And I really did admire how Yoda was in it. He, he was a great mentor to Luke. Luke. And I absolutely love Billy D. Williams as Lando Carissian. Oh, even though he betrayed them a bit, he was okay after he changed sides back. So, yeah, so here's number, oh my god, I, oh my god, I did miscount it, oh my god, I'm sorry, sorry you guys, I think I miscounted of the movies, movies, my bad. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay at home, and stay healthy. Bye.